Good morning, everybody. A couple years ago, I bought a fly rod. And I bought that fly rod with these romanticized ideas of, you know, wading in a stream with some mountain in the background, catching beautiful rainbow trout. Probably what everybody pictures when they think of fly fishing. And one day that may happen. Uh, but for now, I've got to really learn how to fly fish. So as probably a lot of y'all know, fly fishing isn't just going and putting a line in the water. It, there's a lot to it. And it's very, it's very much an art. So I've met up, or I'm about to meet up with an artist. His name is Jeff. Uh, I met him last year when he came to the villages and now he's back down. And Jeff is a fly fisherman. I mean, you know, some people fly fish, some people do skateboarding or autocross and occasionally fish or whatever. He is a fly fisherman. So we're meeting up today and uh, he's gonna show me the ropes. And hopefully I will uh, be able to pick up enough information to be able to go off and do it myself. I'm at Lake Myona Park. Um, it's the only Myona I know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm not. I'm at the wrong place. <laughs> he comes here because his dad lives in the villages, so he only knows the villages. I know outside of the villages because I'm a local boy. So he, uh, when he said Lake Myona, he meant Lake Myona Rec Center. Me, as not being a villager, assumed Lake Myona the park where the boat ramp is. Um, pretty funny, but. Now we're on track. Well, that's a nice thing. You can speak into it too, huh? Yeah, it's got a well external microphone because the mic on the GoPro is terrible. But uh, this is Jeff, by the way, you too. Jeff, hey, Jeff, you too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> A lot of open area for your fish rod that you don't have to, you know, like I said, worry about in a tree yeah, or something. Well, in that whole bank. It's, it's like a glue. It just happens to harden uh, through UV rays. Huh. And I'll tell you what, brother, it works. Okay, what we want to do here, let's give us another space in between us. Okay. And those are those false casts I'm telling you about. Hey, I didn't say I was perfect. <laughs> Watermelon like the Senkos? Watermelon Senkos? Or? 
green, red. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. green. It looks like I call it watermelon seed. Yeah, yeah. Or Yeah, in all that. But uh Come on, so, Bible, change that Lord. Go ahead, go ahead. But uh you live in the in the villages or no? No, no I live in Oxford. Oxford. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, right yeah, here. I'm Oxford but boy. this is this is really good. This is clean, it's like a fucking beach over here. This is great. But this is an art. I mean uh, Yeah, yeah. It is it. different, and that's for patience. sure. You need patience. <laughs> but if you bring your pole next time, like I say, or you catch the bait fishing here on Frankfurt. Uh, Put it behind the back, let them go on a float. Right. You'll catch them in here. Okay. Yeah, now you're going to take a little time. <laughs> That's okay. I'll All right, take care. That guy came up and talked to me last time I was here. He wasted 45 minutes of my motherfucking time. <laughs> Nothing like having something on the line. Yeah, not gonna, <laughs> catching something. And, and with that guy's bullshit, I'll take an eight-pound cat. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I will. I mean, hey, a fight's a fight. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, bro. All right, man. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so back in the truck. No fish today, but that's why they call it fishing, not catching. But I did learn a lot. Um, Jeff's a cool guy, and. A lot of experience, so he taught me a lot of things. If you've ever had fishing stuff stolen out of the back of your truck, you no longer leave fishing stuff in the back of your truck. Now time for Arnie Pommies. That's pretty. So is that. Lunch complete. So, headed home to get ready for work. I gotta keep at it with the fly rod because I can't wait to get that first strike on fly. And then that delicate fight, I mean, I'm imagining, because I don't know yet, but that delicate fight you have to have with the fish, and I mean, you can't just snatch and hold like a regular rod. You gotta, you gotta let them lead out. And, I mean, those rods are so flimsy, they feel like, but I uh, can't wait for that first strike. So, I'm gonna keep at it. If you have any tips or advice, or, uh, and especially specifically for Florida fly fishing, I'd really appreciate it because uh, maybe a, a type of fly that seems to work really well or something like that I know nothing about. Anything you can let me know would be appreciated. Uh, if you liked the video, thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see more, please give me a subscribe. Thanks. Y'all have a great day. <sighs> Somebody was a bad boy. Cause, ah, oh, my jacket. Uh, yeah, I caught somebody running down the driveway. You're disgusting. So, this is Chewy. Chewy is our goat guard dog. And perpetually, for the past couple weeks, he has been escaping on a regular basis. I have no idea how he's getting out. Um, none of us do. And, uh, I don't know. I mean, he's so big, he's probably just clearing the fence. Just putting a paw up and jumping over, but uh, it's really annoying. We think he's going to look for a girlfriend. Isn't that right, Chewy? Oh, God. That breath is something else. All right, come on, buddy. Golly, you're big. Come on. Come on, Chew Bear. Here. Come in. Ah, oh, oh, man, Red, you just slung it everywhere. 
Come on, come on, come on. Gotta get a hold. All right, all right, let's go. Come on. I know the truck has got to be more comfortable than the pin. <laughs> all right, here we go. Hold on, hold on. All right, in you go. Did you miss your buddy goats? Oh, where the heck is he escaping from? I put that board up last night, worrying that he was jumping over that gate because it does seem to be kind of short, but I, I mean, unless he's clearing this fence here, I, I don't know. How are you getting out? It's a tough cookie to crack. I think, Man, he's a big dog if he's squeezing through there. But I had straightened out this part of the fence yesterday. He's gotta be getting through there. And there's dog hair. Clever boy. Guess I gotta fix that now. Hopefully that will keep him in.